latest revelation says that Brooke was in a car accident after drinking with Hollis to celebrate the days together the two had a romantic date. She's very happy because so happy Brooke drank a lot of alcohol. And Hollis didn't stop her either because she knew Brooke knew where to stop. However, when they were too drunk, Brooke decided to go home alone and Hollis fell asleep on the couch. Brooke didn't want her near her. And when Brooke was dosing, she couldn't see the obstacle ahead when Brooke woke up and it was too late. She hit back to the side but still couldn't avoid injury. Brooke fell into a coma after the car hit her hard and she was rushed into the emergency room immediately. Hope received the news and was shocked and she knew Brooke would not be able to control her actions when drinking. So Hope never agreed to let her mother drink. And after she found out her mother had been drinking with Hollis, she was furious. Hope criticized Hollis as soon as she arrived at the hospital. And he couldn't believe this had happened. Hollis tried to explain that he was too happy and fell asleep. But Hope couldn't accept this either. She said that if Brooke had a problem, Hollis was definitely responsible. According to Dr. Brooke's diagnosis that she may lose her memory when she wakes up, she's currently in a deep need and deep coma. Faculty and family members need to remember and take care of Brooke and keep Brooke out, and Hope tells Hollis she doesn't want to see him there. So Hollis was kicked out of the hospital, and he won't be with Brooke for the time being. Hollis feels so guilty for letting Brooke drink alcohol, and he will always blame himself. Besides, Rich also went to Hope and comforted her. Hope likes a hu child hugged Rich and cried, and she said she can't live without her mother. Hope will forgive Hollis, and Rich understood Hope's feelings, and he's also furious. However, the important issue now is that they need to pray for Brooke and hope she can recover soon. Steffi's having a headache because of Douglas's problems, and Thomas keeps threatening her. He says that he will find a way to regain custody for the children, and Thomas will also find a way to disrupt Steffi's happiness if she insists on not giving Douglas back to him. Thomas is becoming more dangerous than ever, and he can do anything if Thomas goes crazy.